I'm back. I'm back. It's been a little while since I've done a reaction to Earth Eater. I've only reacted and listened to two of her projects. I started off with that new album she did, Powders, um, which I was okay with, but I wasn't, I, I don't know. I wasn't too strong on it. Um, and then we had Phoenix, Flames Are Do Upon My Skin, which came out back in 2020, and I really liked that album. Ooh, that one hit, 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 hit. Um, and then, here we go. I'm gonna do this mixtape that came out, like, a year before Phoenix Trinity, which, um, maybe is arguably her best project. I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect of it. I don't know if it's gonna sound different, uh, as opposed to Phoenix. Um, but Phoenix was a very good when it came to its, um, what am I thinking about? It's conceptual abilities. Um, but okay. Let's, uh, let's hop in here. <laughs> Your Tomorrow's Modern Box is coded, bro. What I'm really liking about this is, like, out of all of the albums, this is my third album from her, and I'm already gaining, like, a sense of just difference in sound uh, with all of them, right? Especially the last one is very much more, like, folk-driven. Here, yeah, it's much more based on this electronic sound. Um, and, yeah, it's not, the backing almost makes it sound like it's, like, a Blade song. It really does, in a way. But I feel like it keeps, like, a, how that's mixed in here is a little different. Yeah, I don't really know if there's anything lyrically I need to get into this. Patiently waiting for this person is a realist for and wait for to come out of the darkness. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing too much to really have to think about lyrically, but we'll see if we get anywhere else. So this song, it's trying to suggest, you know, there's some sexual things coming out here. So again, it's saying high, tide is high, is discussing her squirting. And I mean, you're starting this song off too, going like water can put out flames or whatever. Like, the imagery is certainly there. Um, it's cool. I just think it's funny to have that. And that song is called Super Soaker, so I can only imagine if this is just a continuing on of this. <laughs> Don't lie. 
happiness to it. You know, she's getting uh, some conolingus. It's the sum of it. And she, yeah. <laughs> Surviving on saliva. Damn. Dude, it's like Vivio Foreign's gonna come on this shit, bro. Lick my tears, but bite my tongue. Okay. 
straight up sexual, I will say lyrically. more central romantic um, and you know it's uh, using the you know idea of a, a solid or a liquid or a gas and sort of the way that this love is you know taking you through different transitory states to kind of like it's hearing this the song being called solid liquid gas it just reminds me of like when I was in grade five that's when I would have learned like what all those are but <laughs> anyways this mixtape by Trinity is very short 10 tracks 
This is great. I, I really like the sound of this. Uh, I think the production on this, it really, really, really sells. Um, based off all the al albums I've listened to, right, like Powders still feels more so like it's just not something that's fully complete or fully fleshed out. Uh, you know, Phoenix is something that is very conceptual on a romantic level or, level or a more personal level. This album isn't trying to get deep to that extent. It's just trying to be more sensual, sexual, and, you know, those lyrics lyrics are going to try to collide with this ethereal sound, like try to put you in a certain mood or state of mind. And I think that she really sells on that. This is a very, very uh, impressive project, very interesting project. Uh, on first listen, I'm more so um, maybe an eight and a half. Um, I need to sit with this one a little bit. I don't know if it would get higher, but I really like this. I'm not, like, I, I think I like, I prefer the sound of this more than, uh, Phoenix, but I like Phoenix for its, like, um, um, depth. Like, I think that there was more to that album, but I think keeping, like, the sound on this is just impressive. And, you know, uh, this sounds like something new and fresh. Um, so, okay, I'll come back to it a few more times. I listened to it a few more times, this uh, Trinity mixtape, Earth Eater. Um, I still, I think this is great. I think this is great. This is slightly maybe on par with uh, Phoenix. I think I like Phoenix a little bit more, um, just based off of song structures uh, and the emotion that I was getting from those. But this is pretty much on par, just based off of Soundscape alone. You know, sitting with this album, production on it, this ambient, ethereal nature to it. It's very wavy. Um, it's very cool. Um, and it feels slightly inventive, right? Like being brought to an environment that sounds uh, maybe more suited to rap music. Or, you know, really has this cloud rap sound to it. Um, but then is connecting with something more hauntly, ghastly, like some sort of, like, uh, like like Bjork sound within it all. Um, and I respect that. I respect the hell out of that. This is a mixtape too. You know, I, I like, it's pretty tight conceptually, just, you know, on a sexual slash sensual uh, level. Um, so I think um, what she's going for uh, tone-wise for this project works. So yeah, if there's anything else you want to see me react to, anything at all, uh, you can put a comment down below. And uh, thank you for watching. Peace.